Hey, I'm Denicia with Soul Old Business. And on this video, I'll share tips on how to get the most out of working from home. Number one, dress for success. Now I know that sometimes you wake up and you really just don't wanna get dressed. You wanna work in your PJs. I've been there too. I've worked for myself for 20 years, primarily at home, so I get it. The one thing that I found that's very important, so listen up, when you get up in the morning and you jump in the shower and you take the time to dress up like you're going to an appointment, something happens inside of you. You just feel better about yourself. You feel more lively. And when you feel lively and good, guess what? It shows up in the work that you do. So when you wake up in the morning and you're just drained of energy, grab your coffee or tea, get up, take a shower and dress for success. If you're feeling unmotivated and just not happy with life in general, the next tip will help you. Number two is gratitude is the attitude. Now I know that there are days where you feel like the world is on your shoulders. Believe me, I have been there done that already a few times. The one thing that I have learned is that I have to pick myself up. And the best way to do that is a secret. And I'm gonna share that secret with you. The secret of picking yourself up is to get up in the morning and write a list of 10 items that you're grateful for. Every person, everything. Write a list every morning of 10 things that you're grateful for and each day change up that list. Make sure that it's completely different items. What this does, it allows your brain to focus on the positivity of the things that you love and adore in your life. It brings up the ability to have more positive flow. So it clears up whatever's going on inside of you. If it's depression, if it's fear, if it's doubt, if it's low self-esteem, whatever it is, it allows you to start your day on a good foot. Being able to move out of the darkest days into the brightest days is making sure that you understand that gratitude is the attitude. Is for you to understand that gratitude is the attitude if you want to continue being successful. Do you like what you hear so far? If so, Click the like button so I know to create more of what you like and less of what you don't. Next up is write down your goals. Research shows that when you write down your goals and you even visualize you achieving them, there's a chemical response that happens throughout your body and in your brain that allows you to achieve them faster. So when you want to achieve your goals, write them down, create a schedule, of when you wanna achieve them and check your progress. You'll see that you'll be achieving your goals faster with less effort than before. Number four is stay focused. Did you know that 10% of organizations with the highest productivity use this method? Every 27 to 54 minutes, take a break for five to seven minutes and see your productivity soar. I tried this myself. For me, I tried the 27 minutes, it didn't quite work. It was just too much, I was just getting started with the momentum, you know? So I tried the 52 minutes. I take a break every five to seven minutes and it was amazing. My productivity went up 50%. I got more done in less time and I felt good because I was able to take those breaks and focus on my self-care. Like getting water, stretching, meditating, eating, a quick snack. It was great. So I highly recommend that you give it a try too. If you are interested in spending less time doing work and more time having fun and playing. If you're interested in getting more productivity, okay, when you implement these tips in your life, make sure to comment below. I wanna hear from you and I wanna know your progress. So that is it guys. Here's your tips and that's it. Your tips on getting the most out of working from home. If you like this, make sure to like us by clicking the link below and subscribing. And if you feel that this information is gonna be beneficial for other people, feel free to share us. They'd be happy you did. To all those beautiful souls out there who are finding their way with grace and ease, thank you so much for watching. 
And until the next time we meet, be beautiful and be well. Bye.